guys do it on a dime here. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I organize my mom's pantry. But this would work for any space of your home where you have really deep cabinetry. So as you can see, this is her entire pantry space and these cabinets go so far back. It is really difficult to keep spaces like this organized and she kind of has some systems in place but it's still hard to find things. So I'm gonna take you through, show you my best tips for cabinets like this and you'll be happy to know I did the entire thing for under $15. The first tip is to completely clear the space, everything. Plus this gives you an opportunity to take inventory and make sure you know exactly what you have. Step two is cleaning. I just used a wet rag and a magic eraser. And I went to the Dollar Tree and I got two types of bins, dishwash bins and just the standard bins, a dollar a piece, and I set them in the cabinetry to make sure everything would fit. The next thing you wanna do is go through and consolidate. My mom has so much tea, but whatever it is at your house, you wanna consolidate it. So we just cut off the tops of the tea boxes, put the tea into plastic baggies, so the profile of this was so much lower. It saved so much space. So again, this is the before, and using Dollar Tree products and some labels, here is the after. is layered, you take out the basket in front to access what you need in the back. It makes it so much easier to get to stuff. We've got all of her tea just in one box. This is awesome, those baggies did the job. We also have an additional spot where she keeps tea that she wants to take out and have on the ready. I use those shelves that she used to store the tea on for all of her canned goods. This is such an effective use of space, so don't get stuck in a rut with your organizing. That way when she's baking, she just takes out the basket in front and replaces it when she's done, and the the pantry stays organized. At the top in these dishwash bins from the Dollar Tree, you could find them at Walmart. She's got all of her Keurig stuff, which is easy to grab. Down below are these bins that she already had. They were existing, but you could find these at Walmart or Container Store. The shelf above it, we actually moved down a rung, and you can see it goes back two layers of bins. Everything is labeled with labels that I got from Walmart, so it's really easy to find things and put them back neatly. I got all the labels from the dollar spot at Target. These are just wooden labels I used a chalk pen on. And look at all of her shakes. They're neatly organized and all in one spot now, out of those boxes. At the bottom, we're storing heavier, extra bulky items, and there's still more room. Can you guys believe that we did this for just $13? It is so organized, so easy to get to, and this is going to stay this way. And you can do this too. Anytime you have a deep cabinet system, this is what I would recommend. Labeling and layering your organization, one behind the other using bins so you can easily access. <gasps> wow, look at that. It's like going to the store. I, I, I need to buy this. Would you like to buy that? That's perfect, just like in a store. That looks delicious. Uh, I like to buy this. Okay, that will be fine. Five cents, please. Let's click. Click. It's perfect. We love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And here on Do It On A Dime, we leave no one out. So if your pantry or your space is way smaller than this, I have a video for you too. So make sure you click the screen and I will catch you guys in my next one. Be sure to subscribe so I can see you there.